from the guys that brought you center console molly panels and the same guys that brought you rear window molly panel. We introduce to you the rear hatch molly panel. And now I'm gonna show you how to install it. So when you receive your package and you open it up, you're gonna have a couple things. You're gonna have the hatch molly panel, like so, and then you're gonna have the installation hardware, which is eight spacers and eight number eight screws. So installation's pretty easy on this. You're gonna to wanna to just kinda of place it on the hatch, mark your holes, drill your holes, put your screws and spacers in, and you're done. There's a couple ways you can go about this. You can do it up here over your head, or you can sit inside, close the hatch, and do it that way. I'm gonna do it this way, because I feel this is a little easier. But if you're short, it might be a little more difficult, or if your Jeep is really tall. But anyways, let's get the install done. All right, so on this panel, you're gonna see there's gonna be small holes. There's eight of them. And those are gonna be the ones we put the screws in. The other holes, the larger holes, those are for putting on quick fists or other sort of mounts that you're gonna to wanna to store your gear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this up on the hatch, like so. It's gonna kinda of lend itself to where it wants to go. As you're gonna see, you just center it here on this bulge. And then from there, I'm gonna use a pick and I'm gonna go ahead and mark my holes. You can use a Sharpie if you want. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to use a drill bit or you can use your pick. If you're gonna use a drill bit, you want something that is smaller than this so that when you screw this in, it has some bite. So what I'm gonna use is this pick and what you're gonna to do to the holes that you picked and marked earlier, you're just gonna kinda of twist and push like so. And do the rest of the holes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a screw and a spacer with the molly panel in between them and we're gonna go ahead and get this started. It's gonna be a little tricky by myself, but I think I'll manage. So what you're gonna do is line up with the holes that you made. Using a Phillips screwdriver, you're gonna go ahead and get these started. Now you don't wanna go crazy, you just wanna get it started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one on each side so that the panel is held up in place and then I'll go back and do all the rest. So I'm actually gonna put them all in loosely first so that I get the spacers in all the way down and then I'm gonna tighten everything up at the end. Okay, so I have everything loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. You don't wanna go crazy and reef these in because they will strip, so you wanna just kind of snug them up. Okay, so now that it's installed, I wanna to talk to you guys about gear and what you should put on here. You wanna put anything on here that you can secure because when you open the hatch, it's quite obvious that the stuff would fall out if it wasn't secure. And at that point, it could potentially impale you or others around you. So options are molly pouch bags like this with full zippers, first aid kit, you can put it on here. Flashlights with flashlight holders, those work well. You can use these holes for quick mounts so you can use like the quick fist, so you can put a shovel on here or an ax on here or a hatchet, things like that. Just make sure it's secure. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, info at jcroffroad.com or give us a call at 269-353-1184. We'd love to get you set up for your next trip. Mm -hmm.